G'day guys, it's Nick from Hobby King again. Uh, today I wanted to run through a new uh, multimeter that we've got into range, the AN8009. Um, now this is a great little multimeter, really well priced, got a whole bunch of functionality in it which is pretty amazing for the price you're paying for this and uh, we've tested against a whole bunch of, of, of uh, different tools and this is super accurate especially considering the price you're paying for it. So let's just run through a few of the cool features of it. So from the off position you go to voltage which is your basic uh, voltage for checking batteries um, etc um, making sure everything's uh, within range. Um, then you go to millivolts um, for a, a greater range of, of uh, voltage. Then you've got resistance. So on, on this setting you can check the resistance on a circuit or check for continuity. So if you want to see if your wire's broken somewhere along the circuit, um, you put one on either end and you'll get a reading whether there's something going through there. The other thing you can do with this function is uh, check capacitors and diodes. And you just, um, to change between them, you just press this yellow button brings you up the various modes and that's the same for any of these functions. The next setting is for measuring frequency and the duty cycle of a signal, um, say for a, a servo signal or something like that. Then you've got uh, amperage, um, you can go, it can test up to 10 amps and then you've got uh, microamps. The next function is um, NCV or non-contact voltage um, which you put next to a circuit to see if there's electricity running through it. Um, now this isn't to test how much electricity is going through it and you certainly shouldn't trust it um, to go and um, uh, touch a live wire um, but it will tell you if there's a um, voltage going through there. So let's just show you an example of the NCV. We've got a um, uh, power ca cable going across the table here. We'll switch that over to NCV. The sensor's around here somewhere and we'll just take it in. There you go. Okay, so the um, it comes with a whole bunch of different leads to do different functions. First of all, you've got basic probes, um, which plug into these ports here. Um, Basically, most of the functions, you're going to plug your positive wire into uh, this port and that's your common is always in this one. Um, it's only when you're measuring amperage that you plug the positive red wire into that plug there. Um, now, it also comes with two blank leads. So these adjustable. So you can screw any of these pieces that along here into these two leads. So you could, you might have um, a circuit that you want to screw uh, a, a wire down to. Um, you've got banana plugs here. You've actually got two sets of banana plugs. Um, you've got a couple of probes. You've got a couple of extra probes with um, plastic shielding on them. Um, and you've got two pairs of alligator clips as well. So there's a whole bunch of functionality you can do um, just by changing over the plugs with these wires. Then it also comes with a temperature probe. Um, now it's important that you get the temperature probe right. There is, you can barely see it, but there is a positive and a negative uh, printed on there. Um, so you plug them into the correct ports and then that then becomes your temperature probe. Put it onto temperature mode, select Celsius in this case, and you can see it's going up, and I let it go, and it comes down. So that works from minus 20 to 1000 degrees Celsius. Uh, so big range, uh, more than what most people are gonna ever need it for. Um, but really handy tool, and we have checked that, it's actually very accurate. Um, so there you go. That's the uh, new AN8009 multimeter. Um, it's available in the store now and uh, have a look at the links below for further details and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great tips, tricks and products. See you next time.